Hi, everybody. So today I want to chat to you about a phrase that comes up very, very regularly in sessions with clients. And it's the word should. You know, I should do something. I should go somewhere. I should say something. And when I hear the word should, I always get the client to stop and question, question the thoughts that are going through their mind at the time. So when somebody is saying I should do something, then what is behind that? So we get into questioning it. We get into saying, is there a better way of looking at the current situation? Is there a better way of reframing the current thought pattern? And is there a way of ensuring that we're taking action? Because our thoughts are directly linked to our moods and our moods then can determine whether we take action or not. So there are other telltale words that is good for us all in our working lives or in our personal lives to be aware of. Like there is, I must, or I always, I never. So these kind of general statements, if we can catch ourselves saying these and challenge the statements and the thinking around it, it can help us to make progress and not get stuck in that moment, which sometimes can develop into negative thinking as such. So it's about getting a different view and a different perspective on things. So a handy little tip that I use with my clients is if somebody says, I should be making business development phone calls, but I'm very busy doing other work. We change the word but to the word and. So I should make business development phone calls and I'm going to make four of them today before I finish work. And as you go along, if you find yourself using the word should, try and replace it with the words I'm going to or I get to. And that can change your mindset, it can change your mood, and ultimately it will lead to actually taking action. And when we take action, we get more stuff done. But as well as that, we actually gain a lot more confidence from that as well. So it's a very simple technique, but a very, very powerful one. So be mindful, catch yourself if you're using the word should, and replace it with I'm going to and. And that will result in a lot more work getting done. Hope that helps.